freaking didn't see you guys there. What are you doing there? Freaking A. I'm out here looking for some hidden gems, looking for some freaking cheap beast for you guys. Can't seem to find anything at the moment. But if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already part of Team Notification Squad, on your phone, click on this thing right here. If you're on your computer, freaking click on this thing right here. And either way, you won't miss a video, guys. The search is actually real out here. Damn guys, that was effort. Trying to find hidden gems in the new FIFA is like trying to find the needle in the haystack. Hey guys, T Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 video. Today I'm bringing you another squad builder, guys. This time we're going to the Liga Santantas, is now known as formerly the Liga BVVA. But either way, it's La Liga, and I'm gonna be showing you a squad that'll allow you guys to win games, that'll allow you to destroy people, that'll allow you to come out on top and more games than you will lose. I actually streamed me using this squad, but the stream didn't go really well, so I thought why not make a video for you guys? Why why not break it down a bit put it back together again and show you guys what it can actually do now if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure to drop a like as that'll be very much appreciated if we're gonna 150 plus like i will be bringing you another fifa 17 video nevertheless the formation i've decided to go with is the 4332 variant formation used it in my last squad builder if you haven't seen that check it out link in the description and i'm using it again guys now actually starting us off as our goalkeeper we have ochoa he's the fastest keeper in the game he's got 87 speed which for a keeper is insane i mean there's never being a keeper that fast that's actually a record in terms of keeper speed and yeah who thought a troll would say nevertheless as you can see 87 speed 87 reflexes he's got 79 positioning decent stats on his card he's six foot one and yeah quite a decent keeper to put in the team going on to the right back with Cancelo got this guy mainly because of his pace he's got 89 pace 80 dribbling which is decent in the right back I mean he's not the strongest but he can catch up to people which is why I've got him in this team onto the first centre back we have the main man Mr freaking Maltese Egghead himself Mangala don't be freaking calling black people more teasers if you're not black. Anyways, we got Mangala here. He's got 73 pace, 84 physical, 78 defending. He's actually a beast player to use, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. He's got four star weak foot, which is insane for a centre back. Cost me 1.8k coins, which might seem like a lot, but for how he performs, it's actually decent. And yeah, he's the rock of our defence. Next, we have Kolodzi Jack. If I pronounce that right, I deserve a freaking biscuit or something, because that name is something else. Nevertheless, he's got 71 pace, 84 physical, 79 defending. Looks like an OP card. He's six foot one so he's a pretty tall centre back cost me 1.2k coins so I thought why not throw him in the team left back with this guy Costa it's not Diego but it's Juame hopefully he's as good as Diego but in defence but yeah the guy's got 83 pace as his main standout start other starts don't seem the best but in game this guy actually performs well which is why I've chosen go for 1k coins you could probably get him for slightly less and yeah he's a bit of a hidden gem if you've not used him onto the CDM position we have the knockoff version of Messi it's freaking Messa this guy's got 78 pace 79 physical go for a cdm he's actually got all right stats 650 coins he cost me so he won't really break your coin bank it's a decent player to use kind of solid in that position as well and i'm actually happy i decided to go out and get this guy onto our first cm we have kovacic one of real madrid's really underrated players i mean the guy's got 80 pace 85 dribbling just look at those two stats for center midfielder they're actually insane stats on top of that he's got four star weak foot four star skills and a medium medium work rate this guy's pretty much the perfect cheap center midfielder so if you're not trying them out definitely try him and put them in your teams next we have was decent stats as you can see there 76 pace 79 dribbling 80 passing which is decent for a center midfielder physical isn't the best but he doesn't need to be that strong for the cm position he's actually a good player to use cost me 900 coins so i thought why not put him in the team right wing with orellana this guy doesn't seem like the fastest of players but he's actually got 86 acceleration if i'm correct he can accelerate quick he can get through get into good positions he's also got 84 dribbling so he can actually make space and create chances which is one of the main reasons i use him he's actually been really effective in game like using this guy he's got four star skills four star weak for does the job in that position and for 700 coins you ain't gonna go wrong guys striker we have bakambu freaking congolese beast this guy is insane just look at his stats 88 pace 80 dribbling 78 shooting i mean he's got 75 physical on top of that as well played one game with him scored one goal at the moment i know this guy can do more he's got four star weak foot not the best skill moves but he's six foot so he's pretty much a giant my wingers can pretty much flick the ball into his head into his feet and he'll finish it and talking about wingers we're going to finish off with the last player we have in the team and it is Simonowski. 
Sasuke. I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't freaking kill me in the comment section. We have this guy. Looks like a pretty decent card to be honest. He's got 89 pace and to be fair, that's one of the main things he has going for him. His dribbling isn't the best. His other stats don't stand out as much but in terms of bombing it down the wing and crossing the ball into Bakambu, this is the dude you need in your team. So yeah, he's quite cheap and it pretty much keeps the overall cost of the team down whilst also being an effective player. This is the overall team as you can see there guys. Looks pretty decent. If you've got 10 to 15k coins in the bank at the start of FIFA 17, this is the team you want to build. It'll make a difference and it'll just allow you to play better in the game. I mean, it's all good me saying it and showing you the team, but I need to back up what I'm saying in it guys. So I'm going to jump into a game and let's see what we can do with this team. This is actually my first live game in FIFA 17. You guys were watching me play and this is the team we're going up against. He's got Deli Ali in there, Kone. Looks like he's got a pretty decent BPL starter squad apart from those OP lone players freaking spread out. Anyways, we're going to show this guy what's what. Let's get into this game, score some goals and win this thing. But to pause the game guys, you know, I'm freaking turning the head for this. Taking all this stuff off. I'm not trying to be hot while trying to play this game. Jacket's coming off guys. I ain't playing in this heat. Oh, put it out wide. Orellana. Find Bakambu's head. Bakambu. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's why I have players like Orellana in there. Creates the chances. And if you have a good enough striker like Bakambu, he finishes it. That was like some sort of half bicycle kick or something. Bakambu. Come on. Bakambu. Come on. Bakambu. Oh, great defending. Good goal. Boom. Bakambu getting a good position. Bakambu. Oh, just before he struck that ball. Turn. Oh, finish it. Oh, what? <laughs> what even was that, guys? Now, Bakambu. Touch. Now, finesse that. That's what I'm talking about. He doesn't play about. The guy cost me 3.1k coins, I think, and he's getting me the goals. That's what you need from your mean man. No! No! What a save. Aralana, you're there. Aralana, what can you do? Bang! Oh, his keeper somehow stopped it. Messer. Now, Bakambu, you're onside, mate. Don't say you're off. He's not off, ref. Oh, come on. This referee took forever to even blow for that. Ah. Oh. Look how close that was. Was he even off though? Bakambu, two shots, two goals. That's what we need to see from our team. We need to keep up that form, guys. Come on, Bakambu. Touch. Finish that. Oh, sit down, mate. It's a hat trick from Bakambu. That's what we do. Bakambu, why are you injured? This guy scored a hat trick now he's injured. Nah, <laughs> that's actually taking a mate. Don't let him turn and shoot. Oh, saved by a chore. Go. Find him. Bakambu, push it forward. Ah, the push was too much. Just cross it in there. Come on, anyone? Oh! Oh! <laughs> cross is actually a few OP in this game. Find the pass. Ah, oh, Aurelana's still going though. Boom. Put it in there. Oh! Aurelana's actually OP, you know. The goal. Aurelana. Oh! <laughs> this pass and play was actually mental. Then we do him, then we do him, oh, <laughs> sit down. How is this keeper stopped that? We literally destroyed this guy. We was all over him. We deserved a goal for that. Oh, long range. Oh! Oh! That gave me shivers. No, no. Oh, what a save by Troll. It's that 87 speed coming out. Damn. Come on, we need a runner. Boom. Boom. But can be, oh, just smash it. That's what I'm talking about. Bakambu's on four goals. What a way to make your mark into a team. I mean, this is his second game. The guy's got, what, five goals? I mean, that's some kind of record. Come on. Boom. And that's the end of the game, guys. That's what this team can do, guys. I mean, I told you it will do this, and it did this. I mean, what else can I say, guys? The dude I played against had players a lot better than mine, as you saw there with those lone players like Mares, Deli Ali, and all the other guys he had in there. But at the end of the day, all you need is Bakambu. We win the game. 4-0 and look at that Bakambu came out with a 10 rating when do you see that I mentioned early that him scoring five goals in two games is some kind of record well this is some kind of record a 10.0 record on a player at the start of FIFA I mean what even is that or Alano the 9.3 rating 9.5 from Mesa in the CDM position I mean this team just makes movements doesn't it for anyone who does want to try out the team there it is again I mean give it a good look and then give it a good look again because this is the team you need to beat people at the time when making this video it's still early on in the game i'm currently in division 9 so you know this team 
teams making movements in Division 9. If you're struggling, use this team, beat people, and make your life a lot easier. And with that said, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. If you want to see me cover any other types of squads, let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe if you are new. If you're not getting enough of me on YouTube, you can catch me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are down in the description. And for today, this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. And see ya.